Hello, and welcome back to Alan Wake. Uh, already, so I'm trying to remember where we left off last time, and I can't even remember. So, just gonna, just gonna click continue. <laughs> already. Uh, I felt groggy. Oh yeah, we're here. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. Oh, he's Alan when he's a special boy. Oh, I, I forgot I'm in the therapist. Not therapist. This dude. The door Hello. Was locked. I was a prisoner here. Hi. Good evening, Alan. Are Dr. Harmon? Feeling calm? Yeah. Dr. Hermione. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. <laughs> Quite right. That's the spirit. You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you're you were gaslighting me, you little. I don't blame you for it. Man. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you, you might look have Look like someone. I can't work out who. Some fresh air. Yes, it will do you good. This corridor Ooh. is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for Who's the Jack? ones who are particularly vulnerable, is this Jack? of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Uh. <laughs> Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control. Oh, I don't like you at all. You're creepy as hell. This way, Alan. This way. Do you not have stairs? Oh, there's a bear. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, I'm in. Hello. I've just realized the plaster on his now, nose is from me punching from him. <laughs> get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. Lies. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Not Alice true. Drowned, and you couldn't face that. You're suffering Are you Italian? From hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness. A feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario. Oh, I really hope all the right creepy things come and attack him, and then he was just like, Oh, you weren't crazy! Supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. Is there anything I can collect? Ah! We go this way, Alan. Oh, fine. I wasn't for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But he under is the lying. Of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all definitely lying. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained. <gasps> did, I, did I see coffee? Oh, <gasps> I did! So I'm going to have to get up there somehow. The hell do I get there? Who are you? <laughs> I'm coming up, oh, my old man. Hello. It's locked. Never mind. Do you need a bigger sundial? Beyond the shadow, you settle for uh, the miracle illuminated. Ah, Thomas Zane. In the mirror of a dear friend and poet. Say, so, it's a very nice view. Ah, I never get tired of this view. 
Very inspiring, isn't it? Yes. Golden Lake spread below stand in your way and then you see don't Mira see it. On the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Oh. It seems there's a storm coming. Oh, you are I not prepared. <laughs> a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. You are not prepared. Alice, I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface. Well, that's actually quite unnerving. <laughs> your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Yes. Because you don't want to admit that you're not well. It's you very lying. natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the I let him talk. Hartman <laughs> obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, I dug my nails into the palms myself. of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. I <laughs> see the little guy in the Come back. On. Let's go inside. It was you again. Oh, here's the entrance to the office wing. Mm -hmm. It's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Can I speak to people now? Hi. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> Hello. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. <laughs> yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> that's Emerson. Ooh. We're actually making some progress with him, some. I'm happy to say. He works on video games. Ooh, yeah. It's ah. trash, of yeah. course. Yeah. It does involve yeah. some small yeah. creative effort, <laughs> which makes him receptive to my therapeutic <laughs> methods. No kidding. Oh. Hello. Do you just teleport? I haven't seen. Oh, okay. He just he does walk. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Oh, hello. Wiki toy. Oh, it's these guys. My rheumatism is killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm! I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a, how should I put this, a heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. <laughs> Torbjorn they over there is having a fun time. first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. I mean, they were perfectly fine at the beginning of the game, but I guess no, that won't things be. happen quickly. I'm so sorry to cut this short for now, Alan. The power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. <coughs> He's not crazy enough. <laughs> He's not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? 
It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I love these guys. All right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got Zane? to go to the farm. The Anderson farm. Valhalla. We wrote it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Manuscript. Thomas Zane's writing in the system. Zane okay. could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. A way with words? My head was clearing up. Or, according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the oh. Andersons made more sense. Tom! I didn't realize they were playing Night here. Springs, the game. Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula. Local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember, like, moonbeams on the brain. Oh, I just noticed. Leather patches on the elbows? That's not very rock and roll. Tom just lost his all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. <laughs> she used us all, taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens, what was, what were they? <laughs> Memory and thought, the hag. She took something from you too, didn't she? That's what she does. Um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, hard go. Nightmare shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. You uh, make sure it comes out twisted and raw. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider. Oh, the, uh, the scary lady from the start. And you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? Now, now, it was already open a crack. And whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt, disease-ridden, old and stupid. Doesn't mean he had to open it all the way, goddammit. Ah, uh, Oh. So tired. Built the farm close to the lake. So... Place of power. The lady with the lamp. She's the mastermind of all of this, I guess. No? Maybe? Ooh, read. Oh, God. Welcome to Cauldron Lake Lodge. <clears throat> Welcome to Cauldron Lake Lodge. Uh, we're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Um, please ask friends and family to schedule visit visits beforehand to ensure that they don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Uh, also, please respect your fellow patients. Um... Fellow patients need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged in their creative processes. Uh, be patient. Typically our patients have long-term creative problems uh, and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time as you need. Uh, bear in mind that you're voluntarily receiving treatment that has been spe specifically tailored for you. Or, yeah, specifically tailored for you. Uh, engagement therapy. I like how it's been trademarked. Does that mean it doesn't actually work? Uh, is the system method, the flow work, uh, best when you actively engaged in shaping them? If you have any concerns, please do, do not hesitate to voice them. Dr. Harpen, I don't like what you're doing. I'm voicing them, hello. Oh, I can go in here, right. There's no other door. Fine. Run! Run, Alan! Looks like a guard's office. Thank you. I'll do that, Birch. 
Hey, Wake, why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. Thanks. Whoever you are. The doors were locked. Damn it. Hartman and the nurses would have keys, but there was no way to get my hands on them. Uh, unless I steal them. Slow motion, they call it mullet time because the numbers came back from marketing that mullet time is the hook we needed to go big. Hello, who are you? Hmm. Hi. Oh, hello. I've painted you. Hey. Okay. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing Hartman these things. Hartman wanted me to write. A lot I knew I could, the images but I figured I should just play along Dr. for now. Alan Wake is so self-involved, he's just narrating himself talk. while trying to yeah. have a conversation. He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. Okay. That's nice. Can I go in here? Oh, okay. Right. Well, I guess I to guess the bedroom. I start wrapping this up. The storm is almost here. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Alright. What do I feel like is something's wrong? Don't like that. Myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in <laughs> Hi, Alba Allen. But it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. Okay. In her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me. Using me to get the story it wants. And the story will come true. Ooh, creepy. I hope nothing's behind me. But there's a dead bear. I hope it doesn't come alive. Oh, there's another QR code. Uh, hang on. I'm going to take a picture of that for future reference. Because I quite like the little videos that they do. Boop. Cool. Vision 3. Damn, nice. I haven't missed a QR code yet. I'm pretty happy with. Coffee. Coffee, 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 coffee. Nice. I don't know why I did that. I've already checked the door. Hartman had mentioned that the generator. power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Yet. We'll probably find the key later. Ooh. I can go in here. People do like their night springs. What are they, little fruit packets? Night springs of the book? Oh, it's a map of here, I guess. Hang on. That, I thought there was a figure with, like, a torch or something. Yeah, it is. It's me. You're in any other rooms? Ha-ha! Uh, got a painter. But if I see something outside, this thunder is actually really, really making me unnerved. Okay, that's locked. That is also locked. Okay, right, let's try and start writing. Ooh. The glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, wake! You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Okay. Tries to escape. I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Yeah. Use it to our advantage. What is happening? 
Oh, it's the old guys. They're um having a having a fight. Can I go this way? No. Okay. Right. Maybe I'm gonna have to go downstairs. Ooh. Manuscript. Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies. But Barry's been Barry here? was impressed, but he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practiced hand on Barry's shoulder. Okay. Oh, I'm taking it. So... Barry might have been lied to? We're on a comeback tour, Sinclair Oh my word. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. And if she was one of Hartman's goons, yours, she Tom. had it coming. I could get destiny. the key, the office ring, from Sinclair. Uh, yoink. I had to get to Hartman's Thanks, office. guys. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. I don't have a torch. I don't have a gun. Uh, I don't have anything apart from key. Hang on, can I unlock all doors? No. That's remaining locked. Okay, I have to say the thunder audio is a little too good. I'm genuinely starting to think it's actually outside. The photo on the wall caught my attention. Oh, it, the it's clinic staff was standing outside the what? lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. They're all in this together. Ooh, that's not creepy at all. The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. Ooh. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Hey, Ted. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? <sighs> She's not dead. Or maybe this is all. And no play makes Jack a dull boy. And it's not you. Just some stranger who resembles you. Looking out from behind your eyes. And I don't like that guy much. And now it's all gonna go to hell. But you don't ever say this. No. No. I've tried, but he's not listening. He's too deep in his own problems. Always going on about something else. I'm so afraid I'm gonna lose him. Just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man. <laughs> well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. Yeah, the it was on the phone call. call. Yeah. It had been a cut up of this. Just a recording. Why would someone do a like a cut recording and just phoned him. It's really weird. Rudolph Lane's case is interesting. He was completely blocked, and frankly, I was about to discard him as useless. However, once Wake arrived and started writing, something changed in Rudolph. He's producing extraordinary work, increasingly dark pieces. Unfortunately, he doesn't respond to direction at all, and it's my belief that he's not so much a creator as an illustrator perhaps a recorder of sorts i hadn't considered
considered the existence of such a role before, let alone its implications, but the paintings he has produced are informative. At least he's easily controlled and useful. I wish I could say the same They're like about four Wade. decades behind. It's frustrating that the best subjects are always so damn difficult to deal with. Hey, we listen to the ball. <laughs> Okay, so Nightingale tried to get here. What a FBI. Oh, I'm thoroughly intimidated by your mighty authority now, Agent. Listen, you smug snob. How would you like it if I busted through this gate and knocked you around a little? Agent Nightingale, first of all, I'm recording this conversation, so you might want to watch what you say. Secondly, you're not dealing with a hick now. I know the law, and if you can get a judge to grant a warrant, I'll be glad to cooperate. <laughs> but you won't get one. Be advised that any further communications with me are to be made through my lawyer. I don't believe this. Good day, Agent. Yeah. Annoyingly smart. Ooh, it's a, there's a lot of bears at the moment. I don't like that. I feel... Uh, I feel like I'm probably going to have to fight one or something. So we've got wolves, we've got a map. Oh, we got a little stucky. Oh, no. Hang on. There we go. Now I can click it. What fails Hartman? Hartman wasn't happy. Maud could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time, and he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. Uh, but that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. Interesting. I wonder if Hartman's been... Hello? Hartman, do you hear me? I'm gonna do your crazy clown! Barry? Barry. Barry! Oh my word. Now, about time. I love how you're Barry. hiding behind it. Man, I'm glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no. The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, <laughs> and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else I'd sue their asses. My Speaking boy. Of asses, that man gave me a real hard time, but I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman that and he's son a drunk. Of a bitch who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's what? What's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss <laughs> off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. Yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal. We gotta get going. <laughs> I love the idea that he's been carrying this around. He got bludgeoned by the goons, thrown in here, but he's still carrying it. <laughs> Hang on, I'll, I'll, I'll unlock that in a second. Okay, that's fine. Alright, in you go. There's a gun. Gimme, gimme, gimme. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding well, back into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Uh. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Hartman, shut up. Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Uh. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. With your ability and my... Ooh. Oh, he shut the door. Oh, that's what was in the manuscript. 
Yeesh. Well, now he knows. That evil grin! Oh, dear. Oh. Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. Why does he want Wake so much? Ooh, don't like this. What is that? Ugh. Oh, why are you making me mash this? Uh. Ooh, what on earth is happening? Okay, I'm not going that way. I needed light to get the possessed bookshelves out of my way. Uh, can I like pick up a? Ow! Ah! Uh. Can I go in here? Ow! Okay, that is death. I need to find proper light. Okay, that's where I died before. That's locked. That is gone that way. I needed light to get the possessed bookshelves out of my way. Okay. Oh, is there a light switch? Oh, generator upstairs. Generator, generator, generator. Ow, balls. Click. Hey. It's all happening now. To get out of here. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Ow. Get to the light, get to the light. No. Oh, get through here. Got flare. Give me all the flares. How many flares have I got? Just the one. Okay. Right. I'm using the flare to get rid of the bears. Okay, that was just enough. Alright, don't mind me, darkness, I'm just gonna have a quick read. I even knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, Suitable subjects were few and far in between. Hmm. All right. Go, 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 Alan, go. Okay. Can't go that way. Oh dear. That's not good. Flickery light. Uh. Hang on. Where am I going? Hi, ball. Come on. Can I shoot you? Oh, he see me. He see me. Oh. Come on, ball. Be the ball. Ow. Jesus! Right, run at him! Run at him! Go! 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 
Get to the other side. <gasps> no. Do I need it to break the door? Ow! Jesus Christ! Well, that killed me. Okay, right. I need to break the door again. Come on. Come on, you big ball. No, I can't open that. Come on. Come on, ball. Do it. Do it. There we go. There's a good ball. It is a dodge, dodge. Ow, Jesus. This is not good. This is not good. Come on. There we go. Come on. Get inside. Or just enough outside. Get to the cutscene! Good! Well, not quite. Run, Alan! Is the ball gone? Ah! I beat the I ball. Can you give me the torch? Don't have a light. Take this, <gasps> yeah! Oh, God. Thanks, Barry. Oh, my word, it is evil. Oh, inanimate objects! Oh, my God! Okay, that's... Battery, battery, battery! Oh, my word. Inanimate objects are gonna be the death of me. Run, Alan! Right, go, 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 go! Right. Let's get out of here! Like Scooby-Doo! Uh, I'm gonna have to go up there again because I want to know if I've missed anything. Uh, okay. Well, that's fine. Did they disappear? Ha! Got some batteries, good. Hi, Barry. Wait, where's Barry gone? What have I missed? To the gate? Right, the maze. Oh, starts playing the music from the Troy Wizard Tournament. Okay, we're gonna hug the left wall. Like all mazes, hug the left. Mate, I'm trying! Hug the left wall, still hugging the left wall. Left wall. Oh, battery. <gasps> oh, dear. This isn't just a maze. This is a labyrinth. Hug the left wall. Okay. Still hugging it. Someone's coming up behind me. There he is! I thought I had something. You creepy little... There we go. You're a gun. Just gonna have a light read. ...the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full-side stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. What? It took a special... Dragon? ...crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. Interesting. I have no idea of the relevance for that. 
Dude, I'm trying. There's, it's got a wibbly wobbly. Left wall. Reload all the bullets. Left wall. Ooh. Eat flare. What have I done? Aye. It's a battery. There we go. I'm not sure what that trophy was, but I'm glad that it worked. Oh, that's a use flare. Damn. Uh, right, left wall, left wall. Manuscript. Uh. Hartman hurried down the corridor. He had disliked leaving Wake when he was surely at his most susceptible to therapy. But this was not an ordinary storm. Wake had been riding, and he had woken something up in the depths of the lake. Now, it was coming for him. Hartman had naturally prepared for a situation like this. The idiot brothers would keep Wake distracted while Hartman double-checked everything, just to be sure. No. Me talking to the guys was all part of his plan. Anyway, well, I mean, he's dead now, I think. Left wall. Ha! Hey, there's a left wall. Who's here? We don't want any fighting. It makes. Ooh. Oh, I hope Barry doesn't turn into an evil Barry. Anti Barry. <laughs> Uh, right. Who is... Who's gone all evil over here? You get two barrels in the morning and then you'll be nice and cold. Oh! Is it the fat boy? Yeah! There he is. And there's birds to contend with? That battery. Ah, Jesus. Shoot him. Shoot him. Oh, oh my god, these birds are going to be to death of me. Reload, 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 reload. No! Not the birds! Dodge! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Right, he's gone. Right, now it's just the birds. Do you have a flare? Flare gun! I missed. That was bad. Go. Are they? Are they? Oh, hello. Oh, you're a big boy. Battery, battery. Oh, I just noticed the coffee. That mess. Die. That was uh, a bit hairy. Okay, I think I got everything. Good. Good, good. Oh, come on, Alan. That one's. Oh, that's a lot of angry birds. I don't like that very much. 
nice. Shotgun, good. And a manuscript. Not Bot in charge. Smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. <laughs> but Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin. If only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. Oof. Oh, this is a large area. Oh, yo, you came out of the bushes. Is it better? Right. Reload. Reload. Gonna get all prepared. Be prepared. Okay, we've got one flare. <laughs> one. Right, where's Barry? Inanimate objects. Ow. Can I not dodge? In out of objects. Okay, the battery's charging. Good. Oh, manuscript. Uh, For the moment, Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he Barry's fallen? Okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, an axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. Oh no, I don't want Barry to die. I like Barry. Uh. Emil made Tom do it. His assistant? Why did Emil do it? What's that? A rope. Anything over here? Uh, no. Oh, I hear things. There you are. Hey, two birds and one stone. Is me thinking I was okay. <laughs> right, let me get the pistol out. It's got more ammo. I see coffee. This is a lot of supplies. Oh, that's not a good sign. It is gonna go down. Uh, <gasps> Barry. Which means I need to go this way first. Manuscript. Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. <laughs> With a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom, really. Sleep well, Alan, Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. Oh, he's a... He's a real piece of work. Was. Was a piece of work. Hi, Barry. Please, please be safe. Please stay safe. Ow! Hi. Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I don't like the audio. Oh dear. 
Uh, okay, so we got birds, and we got a lot of things. Oh no! Right. Flare. Right. Come on, come on. Right. Reload. Birds. Get rid of them. Get rid of it. Oh, hey, you found a Oi, oi, oi. Go, go, go! It's a battery! Run away! I'm so dead. He's got the key, got the key, got the key! Run, 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 run! Go, Alan! Run! Oh, I thought he had it! Barry! Thanks, Barry. Please tell me where you're now leading Great Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bit as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. <laughs> I can't believe the uh, cobble cutout stayed. <laughs> I'm crazy, but that's fine, Mary. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest- But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al, how can you know that? I know, Barry. I can- Al, I- No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas uh, uh. before it happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. <laughs> I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. Oh, dear. need to find it. Look out! Oh. Ow. God damn it, I'll talk to me. Oh, Barry, no, I don't want Barry to go. I like Barry. Barry, I lost my gun in the crash. Oh, of Barry course, we have. Barry! Barry! Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car! Where are you? The ground gave way. Man, what a drop! Don't worry, your cutout is fine! <laughs> get that! Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch! There's no way you can climb down, though! It's like a sheer wall! Ah, Al! There's something moving down here! Oh, God. Barry, it's a taken! Use a flare, Barry! Ah! Barry, are you all right? <laughs> I'm good, Al! I'm great! Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, <laughs> huh? You're gonna have to find your way around to the farm, Al! I'll be waiting! Okay. Barry, just wait for me, okay? I mean, wall. fair. I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area. You well, there you are. Up. Don't worry about it. I'm on the case. Now he's Rambo. This uh, would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. I 
cannot believe he's still got the cardboard cut out. That's so freaking funny. I don't have a torch or a gun or anything. I don't like this at all. Dodge, 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 dodge. Turn on the light. Right. Get in, get in, get in. Nice. Woo! Don't like this very much. I wanted the manuscript. Uh. When he stopped the car at the Anderson farm, Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. But then he saw the man on the porch, and he knew who it was. Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. I can't remember which one's... who's Walter? Do we know who Walter is? Well... Oh, I see coffee in the distance. Oh dear. Oh, ow. I just wanted the coffee coffee thermos. Ow. Man, this is this is tricky. Ow. I'm getting bullied. Hide behind trees. No, 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 no. That's not good. That's not good at all. Getting bullied by objects. Alan, I know you're tired. I'm sorry. Shadows crawled over the gate. I needed a light to destroy them to get through. Huh. Right, so now I need power. Up here. Follow the cables. Yo! Manuscript. Nice. Agent Nightingale stared at the passed out rider. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion. But he had a job to do. He put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hand shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. I don't understand Nightingale's hatred for Wake at all. Nice. Hey. Jobs are good. There must be something back here, surely. Oh, there isn't. What? Madness. Oh. Leap. Oh. Tired little thing. I'm so sorry, Alan. Uh, that. There's nothing there. Fine. Go down. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. I have a torch now, though. Oh, hello. Trust no one in the dark. Fine. <laughs> Who wrote these messages? Oh, don't like that. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, I don't have a gun or anything. Crap. 
come on. Ow! Uh. Oh, how do I beat you? No! That's not good. That's not good at all. How on earth do I do this? Ow! I don't have a gun. How do I? I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Uh, hmm. How on earth am I gonna do? This is probably gonna take a few attempts. Right. Beeline to the generator. No, you little. Reaps. Get to the generator. Go, Alan. Go. Go, Alan. No, he's right behind me. That's no, that's so unfair. Missed by a mile. Ah. Ow. This is. There's light, there's light. Oh, come on. I could sense the movement in the okay. woods ahead. Facing the thing. A weapon was I'm just going to have to but I had no choice. sprint directly to that and then come back to the generator if I have a gun. Come on, Alan, get your breath back. Come on, Alan, we got this. Come on, go, Alan, go. Go. Use your legs. Oh, come on. Oh. No. Ow. Oh, my God. He just clunked me in the top of the head. Stop it. Please. Jeez, what was the point of the generator? I feel like that was a red herring. Will they come back? Or did I reach the checkpoint and they've stopped? Oh, where's the generator? There it is. Aha! Nice. Wow, that took so many spins. How were you supposed to do that? During all of that. Oh well. We did it. Well, it's nice that checkpoints get rid of the enemies. That's quite nice. Uh, oh, Alan. Okay, that way. A car was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. Not gonna be Barry. Ooh, campsite. Oh, yes, I knew there was gonna be a, a better torch. Heavy duty torch. I guess that means longer battery life. Uh. Ooh, shiver. No. Why would I want to swap back? Cool. Right, that's that. Hello? Oh, it's the car. The Who car is was it? heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. Don't think it's Barry. Come on. Nice. 
Yes. Is there anything else? No. Ooh, hello. What on earth? I'm trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. I had seen Ooh. glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. Dane? Is he the one that was in the diving suit? The dark presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow the story and chained to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. Ooh. Don't like that. That is a lot of flares. Well, this bodes well. I still don't have a gun. There's a lot of bear traps. I wonder if I can use them. Hopefully. Oh, that is an obscene amount of bear traps. Okay. It was very misty. It's got all, um... Of the third kind. Someone had left oh. a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. Okay. I feel I feel better now that we have a gun. My word. Uh. The storm patients escape. As the Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients in tow, knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with horrors, but Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their eyes glinted with guile. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. They had fought these shades before. Right, so... How many times has this happened where some creator... Uh... Taken a field with the darkness. Ow, that is a lot of ammo. Holy! Uh, right. Ooh, there is coffee up there. Can... How do I get up there? Do I have to climb up the tree? No. I can go up here. Oh, hello! Nice to meet you. Missed! Coffee. Well, I'm glad that I checked up there. Ah, another man. Oh, that's a bear trap. That's not a manuscript. Nearly got me, game. Nearly got me. Oh, there's evil things. Yeah. Someone else. There is so many people. Right, you're done. Damn. Was not enough damage? Come on. Come here. Eat lead. Reloaded battery. Oh my word, there's more. Can I? Ow! Jeez. Right. Now, 
Are you even, can you run into the bear trap? Is that a thing? Oh no, he avoids it. Well, that's not, that's not ideal. I guess the bear traps are just for me. I've got six bullets. Oh, okay. I might just have to see if I can run this. Dodge. Go, Alan. Go. Run. Ah. Stay. Away. Away. Go, Alan. Go. Run, 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 run. Get to the light. Ooh. That's a lot of things. Get to the light. Yeah. Oof. Oh, and they disappeared. Good. Damn. That was... Uh... Mildly panic-inducing. Okay. Ah, oh, never mind. They're here. They're here. They're here. Yeah, let's go. Run. Go on. Go. Just run. They can't follow you now. Focus. I can see the car. Ah. But there was no sight of the driver. Yet. Thing. Oh, that is it. Hello? Hello? Creepy house? Anybody here? Barry? Barry. No, Danny, you're not. Danny? Please. What are you? No, don't. I'm sorry. Barry, please don't die. Hello. In jail the other day. I went to the farm again for the moonshine, you know. It makes you see they're they're not gonna miss it. They're in the loony bin. But my buddy Danny, I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. Like a real bad follow-up. To a real good movie. The best friend's suddenly the bad guy. Who, who wrote this crap anyway? I heard creaking. Why? You are very covered in blood. I don't like that. Oh, they they escaped. They escarpaid. Ah! I've run through every possible Hello. force in my head. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes, cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who'll help me. I'll make it happen. Oh, this is weird. I love it. It almost feels like it's like meta would be the best description for it. Are you are you gonna be okay? 
I think he's dead. He's dead, Jim. Oh my god. Oh my Jesus, hello. Eat lad, you big boy. I guess. Danny, huh? Was Danny. Ex Danny. Okay, I've been down and around here. The front door was locked. Okay. I could climb out through the broken window. Nice. The farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. That's fine, we'll just steal the truck. Wait, manuscript. Oh, it's on the carpet. Uh for a moment, Hartman considered strangling the idiot. Mott was mean spirited, but easily <laughs> manipulated. An emotional infant who lived for his approval. Wake, by contrast, was a far more difficult subject. Mott had given him too much leash. In two days, who knew what could happen? Hartman would have to find a way to rein him in, and quickly. Right, so. With the two days thing, that's why it wasn't part of his plan. Hello. That's nothing. Um. And I guess they had to do something drastic. Which is why they changed location, maybe? Did that happen? Or was that before? Change of plan. All right, let's go for a drive. If Barry wasn't up here, Probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad well, for doubting him. So we're finding all, a sign for secrets, so we're gonna go down here. But Barry was Barry. Probably shouldn't have taken the car here. Ow. There's something over there. Alright, I'll be back, car. Hang on. Uh, oh, there is nothing over here. Okay. Never mind. Thought there would have been. Yeah, well. Uh. Me. Uh. Okay, so we are going that way. I love that the car battery is determined by... Okay, so I need to go that way, so we're going to go this way first, up to this building. Ah! Secrets! It's all the big old arrow. And I can change vehicles if I need to? Probably not going to. Ah! Oh! Nice! Oh, hello! Oh, the torch, right, okay. Breathing. Don't like that. Hello? Anyone upstairs? Hello? I... Okay, I don't like that. Leave. One thing's outside. I'm going to drive this car. I haven't driven this car. Properly, anyway. I've driven a Land Rover before. Nope, I crashed that. Uh, I've crashed this one. Uh, okay, so that's the way that I could have gone. What on earth? Eat lead.
Uh, ooh, where am I going? Something's not right. Let's run you over. Boom. Squished. Run you over. Is he dead? No. Reverse. Nice. Right. Can I smash through this? No. Ooh, where am I going? Oh, probably gonna have to walk it, aren't I? Did I? Car can't fit through here. I can fit through here. Don't come alive, don't come alive, don't come alive! I don't want you it! to fight in have my objects. <laughs> Actually, that's a lie. He... I guess... that was... animated? I go through here... It's corn! Ooh, let's go to the house because it's not where I need to go. Ah, I knew it. There are secrets in here. Oh, don't make me jump. I, I, I hope the breathing is Alan. Nice. Got loads of things. Got flashbangs as well. Okay. Ow, right in the head. Let's put on pistol. <gasps> oh, that's. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I thought I had some flares. Well, no one. It is what it is. Firework. Can I light the firework? I know Coffee. the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't oh, been with the dragon. until I saw this stage. Ooh. Ow! Run! They're coming! There's too many of them! Uh, Barry, no! God damn! Oh my word, okay, this is cool. Shut up and shoot. Okay, hang on, Barry. We have to fight him off. Yes, I do. Hey, Al, the fireworks are here and help you out. Ooh. Hey, Al, they notice us on the panel. This place is stopped. Hold on, I'm trying to get the stage lights on. Uh huh. Shotgun. Let's pick up three flares. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Switch to heavy duty lantern. Ah! I wanted the batteries. Give me the battery. Ow! Oh, 
Right. Reload, reload, reload. We're gone. Right, reload, 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 reload. We're all there. We're dead. Nice. Oh, it's a big boy coming up. Nope. Nice. Pick up flashbang. Uh, right. Reload, reload, reload. And reload. Okay. I have to say I really like this section. This is so cool. I hear things. Can you give us good? Yeah. There's more. This is why there's fireworks. I, I'm trying not to, Barry. I don't want you to die either. Hey, I don't know what that means. It's not just a tower to band. I don't mean to do. Uh, they are trying. That's the high point of my life. Really? Right, reload, reload, reload. Nice. Reload. Right. Regen health. Give me it back. Thanks, Barry. Right, reload. Oh wow, that is a lot of people. Okay. Oh, bloody hell. No, I died. No, how much do I need to do? Is all of it? No, okay. Whew. Okay, reload. Oh. Nice. Got you. Eat grenade. Hey, collateral carnage. I'm sorry about your farm. He lied. <laughs> that was awesome! I have to. That was a lot of fun, Falls, despite dying. Rock and roll capital of America. Right, let's reload. Uh, no, I actually quite like the lantern. Hey, Al! This way to the farm. Okay. It's Carecrows. Okay, that, that was good fun. <laughs> that was really good. Any more? Oh, the couple cutouts here. See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutouts are good as new, right where I left them. Oh. Uh, come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. <laughs> we need to get this thing moved out of the way. Uh, okay. This is as far as I got before they ambushed me. Okay, so there's that up there, so I need to get up to there. Which means I go round and up the ladder. Nice. There. There must be something over there, surely. There can't can't not be. Oh, I see you. And if I don't get my way, I'm so all day long. <laughs> I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very <laughs> God damn it, Barry. 
Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. <laughs> Hang on. I want to get the manuscript that's over here. I f did not realize there was one. Surely this is a manuscript. Yes! Deputy Mulligan tuned Thornton's chatter out. He didn't think writers were particularly useful people, and a huge manhunt for one stuck him as idiotic. Certainly not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. Hmm? It wasn't even clear what the man had done, except run from them at the trailer park. Mulligan knew he wasn't alone. The sheriff's patience with the Fed was running out. Hmm. Can I go in the well? Timmy O'Toole! Okay, well, that's now open, which means I'm going to have a little explore first. Just in case if there's other things. Because this is a large area. Surely there would be like a coffee cup or something nearby. No? Or a manuscript, I think I can see one. Is that what this is? Hmm? Oh yeah, I knew there would be something over here. As the deputies hauled Wake and Wheeler away, Agent Nightingale eagerly examined the stack of papers Wake had been carrying. It was incomplete, a collection of random pages, but there was enough. He saw his own name in there, among others. His hands shook with emotion. Finally, it was proof. He had been right all along. Proof of what? I'm not sure what the proof means. Uh, okay, so we need to go through the barn to get there. Fine. That's easy enough. Alright, come on, Barry. Wow. What done like this? Look at that thing, Al. They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? <laughs> Look at all this stuff. They must have done okay for themselves. So how come I never heard of these guys before? Uh. And this from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV. Oh, I love that you can do that. The scary door. Oh, night spring. Man, it's back memory. Hey, remember when I got you that gig? Your first real writing job. What got you started? Was this one of your episodes? Oh. That's why we're seeing them. Oh. We join Mr. Jones as he explores the endless dreamscape, only to be brought to a sudden stop by a decidedly mundane situation. A long line of people. Hey, Jones, right? Listen, we're gonna have to wait until his highness over there is good and ready. Oh wow, who's that? You don't know him? What are you new? He's the guy What are you new? Yeah, precisely. So we wait till he wants. 
wants to move on. Keep things nice and calm. Hey, something, something's happening here. Yeah? What's that? What? Can't you hear that? Oh, God help us. It's an alarm clock. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Please, man, I gotta wipe the kids. Please don't wait. Quite like that one, that was interesting. Or a dream, what if we're all a dream? Is this a dream? Hello. Uh, right, let's go up. Yeah. Is in manuscript. It's 1976. Madness no, reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. What? Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. Oh, so this is what happened with them? Or at the least he's writing what happened with it. it. Almost like a battering ram. Ah, okay. Well, do that. Just a second. Read. Old Gods of Asgard, the 1975 Ragnarok tour. Uh, be awed by celestial wrath and fury. Cool. Anything on the back? No. Sorry, hey bales. Hey. Uh, oh, there we go. Shunt it. Thanks. Oh dear. Get out. Oh Jesus. That wasn't very nice. Wasted of a flashbang, but <gasps> oh! damn! Right, give me the revolver ammo. Uh, let's reload the revolver as well. Hello, what's up, friend? <gasps> he's he's got all stucky on us. Can you? Lucky, who are you? Ooh. Okay, well, that didn't really work. Where is he? There you are. Hello, wibbly wobbly. Kill him! Get him! There we go. I wonder if they're, they're going to become a bit more of a normal enemy now rather than the boss. I say boss. That sort of character, I mean. Right. Now we need to, oh god, venture off over there and not get electrocuted by all of this stuff. Alright, but I think that will be next time, he thinks. Uh, let's stop you. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, I think today was pretty good. 
Um, we... It was like we did quite a lot today. Um, got through our little adventure in the psych ward. Harmon is... Uh, Harmon is no more. He is... He's harmonised with the earth. Uh, Barry has now his favourite cutout, which is freaking hilarious. <laughs> I love that. Um, and I feel like we're kind of getting into like the meat of the story, which is really, really nice. Uh, like the whole thing with like Zane, a lot of the characters are getting their story arcs fleshed out. Um, the fact that this is what we're doing is Alan's like it's part of Alan's plan to get things back he is writing the story trying to go around the revisions that the dark presence or the lady is doing um, and I just think it's really really interesting I really really like this um Yes, I think this is a really, really, really interesting game. I really thoroughly am enjoying this, um, and I'm looking forward to playing more. Uh, already, I am going to call it there for today. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I will speak to people soon. Bye-bye!